Zachary, thoughts on Kathleen Kennedy possibly leaving Lucasfilm in mid-2025. So this is coming from a report from Jeff Snyder that is kind of an independent film journalist. He has sources. He breaks stories. He's not tied to one of the major outlets, but he has been in the past. He frequently is right. And generally speaking, if he hears something, there's something true to it. He's not just someone on Reddit. He's not a guy that's just lingering in in total um, rumor mill. He is a legitimate journalist with sources that has journalistic integrity. He It's not like I heard through a game of telephone. If he says it, he knows someone that actually works there that has heard something or according to journalistic practices two people. He needs you to hear two times before you report it a specific way. So Jeff Snyder is the one that reported this and essentially said that she's looking to leave. And the quote was at least until Q2 next year. So even the framing of this question that she's possibly leaving mid 2025, that's because it looks like she's on her way out, but looks to be around until mid or until after second quarter 2025. And in a sense, these rumors have been around for years that Kathleen Kennedy's out. They're not going to up her contract. That's the Internet's favorite rumor because she's also one of the Internet's favorite targets. And so you, you kind of you, is this just another one of those? It feels like there's a, more murmurs than before. And even some of the changes with Lucasfilm, it feels like there's probably more truth to this where the last month there was reports coming out that Kathleen Kennedy, she was looking to be done, but she wants to end on a high note. She wants to put something out that gets praise and she goes, see you guys, I'm done. And she's looking for that positive rather than acolyte, another ratings disaster, bad internet discourse. See you later. Bye. She doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to leave while everything's on fire. She wants to end while things look like they're on a high note. And then two weeks after that report, you get this one, which is another one saying that she wants out. Here's the thing to think about on all this. Kathleen Kennedy is 71 years old. So that like she's in her seventies. Uh, so she's probably reached the peak of her career. There's not a, a whole lot of places to go from where she's at. And so it's kind of, do you stick with Lucasfilm until you retire and die or or move on to something else? Is charitable work? There's not really a a place to go. You were over Star Wars and you had a movie that made $2 billion. There's not bigger than that, unless you're taking Bob Iger's spot, which definitely probably not looking to do that. And, and I don't know that anyone else is looking to put her in that sort of position either because Star Wars hasn't been run all that well. So you have someone that almost has a resume too good to go back down, but also not good enough to stay at her level, to have a pr- parallel transfer or step up. So you just kind of go, I, I guess I just need to end and hopefully I can end on a high note. I assume that's kind of what she's thinking. I've said it many times before, I don't, Kathleen Kennedy's done a bad job with Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy as an executive producer for Spielberg, Lucas, and many other A-list Mount Rushmore directors of the last 40 years is fantastic. Like a legendary executive producer, but that's a different skill set. There's a nature in work where you get promoted for being so good at your job, but you get promoted to the next level up that is not what you're good at. Classic example, the TV show, The Office, Michael Scott is repeatedly represented as a legendary salesman for the company. And so he gets promoted to manager and he's not good at that. (laughs) It's not his skill set. And everything that made him a good salesman makes him a bad manager. And so he was promoted into something he was bad at. I don't remember the name of that principle, but that principle applies to Kathleen Kennedy. There was something that she was great at, became the top of the world. Let's promote you up. Now you're over Lucasfilm. And she's been terrible at it. And what what is her job? To, To build excitement for the brand, to deliver hits. She has delivered hits, but also some flops. Um, to recruit and keep talent to cast vision for the franchise and where it's going 
and ideally pull fans together, have this general sense of excitement. So movie number one, Force Awakens, did this stuff, recruited talent, got people excited. A couple years later, Last Jedi starts to break that excitement. And around the time Last Jedi comes out, you start having the issues with Solo. You start having issues with Rise of Skywalker. Uh, even Rogue One, massive behind the scenes changes. And you start realizing that, wait a minute, she just recruited a bunch of hot names in Hollywood. These weren't the right people. So she recruited people that didn't stick around, that didn't work. So she recruited people poorly. The audience started to fracture. And then the Mandalorian comes out. People are excited about that. And so like, there's like this fractured audience that likes part of Star Wars, but not other parts of Star Wars. And they're fighting with each other. And she recruits more people, announces more projects that don't end up happening. And so, and then now we had five years and we haven't had a Star Wars movie coming out. It's still a couple years till we get another Star Wars movie. And the things that they've announced are like questionable at best as like the next Star Wars movie. And it's like, that's where we're going with this. So she's done a bad job. And like, even if you love the Acolyte, it was a project that the, the very nature of what it was doing with lore just was shaking things up at a time where you didn't need to shake things up. Uh, that made people go like, why are we presenting the Jedi like this? Like what, what, what is happening right now? And that's not particularly wise when your fan base is already so fractured and frustrated. Um, and, and there's a lot in things like where's the budget going on some of these projects and why did you continue this, but not this. And so many questions. She's done a bad job. She just has. You go, whoa, but yeah, but I mean, like, made a, a movie gross $2 billion. And, like, I mean, people complain about Last Jedi. It made $1.5 billion. Even Rise of Skywalker made a billion dollars. Right, because it's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. But the box office from Force Awakens to Rise of Skywalker cut in half. Solo made half of what Rise of Skywalker made. Like, there was this fall off in box office for Star Wars movies instead of an upward trajectory or, you know, a spike and then a plateau. It was very clearly going in the wrong direction. And then it's just been fractured since then. And just like, just really poor management. So if she's leaving, good. She's done a bad job. I don't know who should replace her. I don't think there's an obvious choice at all who is actually qualified to be in that position and has a consistent resume to prove it. There's, there's just not a person that's in that. Whoever you, you bring in, it's a risk. No matter what. Dave Filoni. Look at some of these projects Dave Filoni's been a part of. Man, I would have been excited about it a few years back. Not anymore. I don't think he's he's he has certain really good skill sets. Not what it takes to be this. Favreau, wildly inconsistent. There was a time where, oh, yeah, Favreau, you never know what you're going to get from him. So I don't, I don't know who should take over, but it shouldn't continue to be Kathleen Kennedy. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.